Lord Robertson. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. One of the most enduring memories of Anzac Day is at McMaster's Beach, one of the most beautiful locations in my electorate on the Central Coast. Every year at 5 p.m., the McMaster's Beach Surf Lifesaving Club hold a wreath-laying ceremony where wreaths are placed next to surfboards framed by the Australian flag and our coastline as we take time to pause and reflect on those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our nation. It's due to the volunteers at the Surf Life Saving Club that this yearly memorial service happens and brings our community together, and it now attracts over 250 people. So with the ANZAC centenary fast approaching, it gives me pleasure to advise that a grant of $4,400 has been approved as part of the government's centenary of ANZAC commemorative grants program. Thanks to this grant, McMaster's Beach Surf Club can now replace the four sections of the iron bar balustrade with a feature of tempered glass. Appropriately, the middle two panels will be etched with commemorative Anzac images. It's a unique and appropriate location that is a poignant reminder of the beachside landing at Gallipoli, and it will also be a constant reminder of the connection with the surf lifesaving volunteer movement, many of whom served in the various wars Australia fought, including in World War I. So I thank the club president, Alan Blackman, and committee members Warren Watkins, Peter Brown and Ben Vandenhoeven for all of their work, and I also recognise and commend the Robertson Anzac Day Grants Electorate Committee. Together in Robertson, we will ensure the le legacy of those who served will not be forgotten. Call the honourable member for